Chemotherapy. Each year, thousands of people are diagnosed with cancer. If you or a loved one is among them, you are not alone. Medical research has led to many treatments for cancer. Depending on your type of cancer, your doctor may recommend chemotherapy as a treatment for you. Chemotherapy is a drug or a combination of drugs that fight cancer by slowing or stopping the growth of cancer cells. Chemotherapy treatments can be a cure for some patients or it can help to control the cancer. In some cases, chemotherapy may be used to help ease some of the symptoms caused by cancer. Chemotherapy may be the only cancer treatment you receive, but often you will get chemotherapy along with surgery, radiation therapy, or biological therapy. You may feel nervous about getting chemotherapy. However, learning about this treatment will help you to understand what to expect. Your doctor, along with a team of healthcare experts, will work together to create a treatment plan to meet your needs. In some cases, you may be given information about clinical trials. Your healthcare team may include doctors in training, residents, and medical students who may do a physical exam and talk with you. As you get ready to start chemotherapy, tell your doctor about any medicines or pills you now take. Be sure to include medicines prescribed by your healthcare team and any herbs, vitamins, or over-the-counter medicines. Some medicines may cause problems if taken with your chemotherapy. Tell your healthcare team right away if any of these medicines change during your chemotherapy treatments. Some chemotherapy medicines may affect your ability to have children. It is important to talk to your doctor before starting chemotherapy if you are planning to have children in the future. Chemotherapy can be given in the hospital as part of your hospital stay but it is most often given in an outpatient or clinic type setting. We will go over what may happen on the day of chemotherapy. For some types of chemotherapy, your doctor may order certain medicines for you to take before you come for your appointment. It is often okay to eat or drink before your treatment. If you have concerns about this, check with your healthcare team. Plan to have someone drive you to and from each appointment. If the medicines given during your treatment make you feel that you are not safe to drive or if you feel unwell. Your chemotherapy visits can take several hours because you may need to see your healthcare team, have tests done such as x-rays or blood drawn before you start your treatment. Your blood will be tested to make sure your counts are high enough for you to get your chemotherapy. Bringing a book or other quiet forms of entertainment may be helpful. Please know that you will be given all the time you need when it is your turn to see the doctor. Before your treatment can begin, a number of safety checks will be done by the nurse and the pharmacist. These steps take time to complete and may add extra time to your treatment. You will be taken to a room with a chair or a hospital bed to get your chemotherapy. A family member or friend can stay with you during the treatment. However, if your family member or friend is sick, they should not come with you to the appointment. Patients getting chemotherapy have a higher risk for catching colds, the flu, or other contagious diseases. It is important for you to stay away from anyone who is sick at this time. Before your chemotherapy is given, you will be asked about any allergies you may have, review all of your current medicines, and your health history. Your vital signs, which includes your blood pressure, pulse, breathing rate, and temperature, will be taken, as well as your height and weight. There are different ways of receiving chemotherapy. For example, chemotherapy can be given as a pill by mouth or by intravenous, most often called an IV. Your doctor will talk with you about the best way for you to get your chemotherapy. If your chemotherapy is to be given through an IV, a nurse with special chemotherapy training will put in the IV or use your port, such as a Metaport, to give your treatment. The chemotherapy drug may come in a bag, bottle, or syringe and will enter your bloodstream through this IV or port. Getting chemotherapy should not be painful. If you feel any pain or discomfort, tell the nurse right away. Your comfort during the treatment is important to us. 
Every person responds differently to chemotherapy treatment, and each chemotherapy drug can cause different side effects. Talk with your doctor about side effects you may have based on your condition and treatment plan. Common chemotherapy side effects may include nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, hair loss, taste changes, fatigue, depression, low blood counts, and sexual changes. For example, a decreased desire for sexual activity. With certain treatments, you may have other side effects, such as muscle pain, skin rash, and numbness, tingling, or a burning sensation in your hands or feet. It is important to tell your doctor if you are having any side effects so you can be given information to help prevent or control these symptoms. Your doctor may need to stop your chemotherapy until your side effects improve or your chemotherapy dose may need to be changed for future treatments to lessen your side effects. Here are some tips on how to manage side effects and take care of yourself during your treatments. Get plenty of rest with at least eight hours of sleep each night. However, doing some gentle exercise each day may help you feel better. Try to drink eight to 10 eight ounce glasses of non-caffeinated fluid each day. Eating five or six small meals each day, instead of three larger meals, may help control an upset stomach or diarrhea. Your healthcare team can give you a list of some foods to eat and also some foods to avoid. Use an electric shaver instead of a razor to avoid bleeding. Use a soft toothbrush to help keep your gums from bleeding or becoming sore. To lower the chance of you getting an infection, wash your hands often with soap and water and stay away from people that are sick. You should also be careful around animals. Do not clean your cat's litter box or pick up dog waste. Use lotion and sunscreen suggested by your healthcare team to help with dry, itching skin or to prevent sunburn. Be careful in direct sunlight to avoid sunburns. In taking care of yourself, it is also important to be aware of your emotions. It is normal to feel alone, afraid, sad, angry, or anxious. We know this can be a stressful time for you. Your healthcare team is available to give you support and to share ways to help you through this experience. It is always important to tell your healthcare team how you are feeling. There may be times when you need to call the doctor if something changes. You should call your healthcare team if you have any of the following. A fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. When you are getting chemotherapy, a fever can be life-threatening if not treated. Call if you feel dizzy, lightheaded, have shortness of breath, or you find it hard to breathe. You should call if you notice unusual bruising or bleeding. Or excessive fatigue, such as feeling tired all of the time with or without activity. Call if you have nausea, vomiting, diarrhea or constipation that lasts for more than 48 hours after your chemotherapy treatment. Let your healthcare team know if you find mouth sores, including sores on your gums or tongue, white patches in your mouth, or have painful swallowing. It is important to call your healthcare team if you have any signs or symptoms of infection, such as chills, or you notice the skin where an IV was placed is now warm, swollen, tender, sore, or red. A rash, cough, headache, or earache. A stiff neck. Bloody or cloudy urine. Pain when urinating, or a frequent need to urinate. Sinus pain or pressure. We hope this information has helped you to better understand what to expect when you get chemotherapy at the James and how to care for yourself during this time. Write down any questions you might have for your healthcare team and bring them with you to each appointment. We are honored to care for you during your cancer treatment. Thank you for choosing the James.